collecting like terms. In today's lesson, we will be looking at collecting like terms. Um, it's an algebra topic, so let's have a look at how we collect like terms. Just something to think about before we start with the examples. We can only add things that are the same, or should I say we can only add or subtract things that are the same. So let's just have a look in the situation. Can we add two apples and three apples together? We can, can't we? Because that is five apples. Okay, can we add four cars and five cars together? We can, that's a total of nine cars. Can I add three oranges and two apples together? I can't, can I? Because there's no such thing as five, I don't know, apples or appendages. Um, so I can't add them together. Can I add seven lorries and eight lorries together? I can. That's a total of 15 lorries. Can I add 5x and 8x? I can. They're the same. So... 5x at 8x is 13x. I can add them together. Can I add 9y and 4x together? I can't because they're not the same. Can I add 4 boats and 10 boats together? Yes, I can. That becomes 14 boats. Okay. So remember, you can only add things that are the same. So one of the examples here was three oranges and two apples. They're not the same, so I can't add them together. You can only add things that are the same together, and that goes for letters, okay? So we can only add things which are the same letter. Let's have a look at some examples then. Some easy ones to start off with, and then we'll get slightly tricky examples, okay? Right, let's have a look. Just very basic examples to start off with. Let's do basic ones really really basic ones we'll do x add x okay remember in maths we don't have the number one in front of the letters so that's actually one x add one x so how many x's have you got all together you've got two x another example let's do um three m plus two m Again, you if you want in your head, you can make things up. So I don't know, three motorbikes plus two motorbikes. That's five motorbikes, so five M. Okay, number three, let's do 12X minus five X. So again, they're the same, so we can subtract them. So 12 take away five is seven X. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do, oops, let's do 2x, add 5x, subtract x. So these are all the same, so we can add and subtract them. 2x add 5x is 7x, and then I've got to take off another x, which is 6x, and that's my answer altogether. Number five. Um, 5y add 3y minus 2y so again they're all the same letters so I can um, add and subtract them so 5y add 3y is 8y and then I've got to subtract 2y from it which is 6y okay right let's have a look at some other ones slightly more tricky Okay, what if we end up with something like this? 4x add 3y plus 2x plus 5y. Okay, and you can see here that we have got x's and we have got y's. Yeah, so we need to add the things that are the same together. So the x's are the same, so we need to add them together first. We've got 4x add 2x which is 6x, and then add the y's together because they're the same. We've got 3y, add 5y. I circle and box the letters that are the same just so they stand out, and I know that I've included them. 
that's a nice easy trick for you to do. So for example, put a circle around the 4x and a circle around the 2x. I know that I'm going to add them together. And then I've used a different shape for the y's because I know I'm going to add them together. 3y add 5y is 8y. Okay, now in this situation, I can't add the 6x and the 8y together, remember, because they are not the same thing. So the, the answer is just going to stay as 6x plus 8y. Okay, let's have a look at a different example, similar to this one. Let's do 4b, add 5x, add 3b, add 2x. Again, remember circle and box. So the b's I'm going to use circles for. I'm going to add them together. 4b add 3b is 7b. Box the other ones. I've got 5x add 2x, which is 7x. Again, I cannot add these together because the b and the x is different and they're not the same. Therefore, they can't be added together. Okay. So look at a few more. Example number eight. Okay, let's have a look at twelve x plus five k minus two x plus seven k minus four y. Okay, so again, box and square the letters. So I've got 12x minus 2x, which is 10x. Then I've got 5k plus 7k, which is plus 12k. And then I've got a minus 4y at the end. Well, there's no other y's there, so I can't really add or subtract the y. So I'm just going to write that at the end. And this is going to stay as it is because I can't collect the like terms any further. I have got X, K and Y. They're not the same letter, so nothing can be done. So I've got to leave it how it is. OK, let's have a look at another example. OK. Let's have a look at something like this. OK, so circle and square. So I've got minus 3m plus 5m. I can add them together because they're the same. That becomes 2m. Well, I've got an n here, but there's no other n. So I can't add anything onto that. So that's plus 2n. And I've got a minus 3x there. But again, there's no other x's here. I can't add anything onto it. So it's going to stay as minus 3x. And again, at the end, I can't add these together because I've got 2m plus 2n minus 3x. They are different. They can't be added or subtracted together. Therefore, the answer stays as this. OK. Let's have a look at another example before we move on to slightly harder ones. Let's do 5k plus 7x minus 10x minus 11k plus 14x. Okay, circle and square, I've got 5k, I've got minus 11k, and that's it. So I've got 5 minus 11 is minus 6, I'm left with minus 6k. Let's do the x's, 7x minus 10x plus 14x. So 7 minus 10 plus 14 is 11. So plus 11x. Again, I can't add this answer together at the end because I've got a k and an x and not the same. Therefore, the answer is going to stay as it is. OK, slightly harder examples now. I've got AB plus 2AB. Now, I can add these together. You might be thinking, actually, I've got AB and I've got 2AB. This is slightly different than the examples above, if you can see. That's A times B and that's 2 times two times A times B. They are the same. You kind of have to think of it as 
the same letter, but they're like groups of letters. So that's A, B, and I've got two A, B. What you could think of this as is what invisible number is, is in front of the A, B? It's one, isn't it? Because we don't write the one. So I've got one A, B plus two A, B, and that might make it slightly easier for you to have a look at. One A, B plus another two A, B is three A, B, and that is your final answer. Let's have a look at another one like this. 10AB minus 5AB. Okay, so again, it's exactly the same. I've got 10ABs and I need to subtract 5ABs from it. They're exactly the same. Okay, so 10AB subtraction of the 5AB leaves you with 5AB. Okay. Let's have a look at another example then like this. I have got xy plus 2xy plus 4xy. Okay, so again, they're the same. I've got, remember, the invisible number in front of xy is 1. So you can rewrite that just to help you out. 1xy plus 2xy plus 4xy. And that will make your life easier. So I've got 1xy plus another 2xy, which would be 3xy, plus another 4xy, which would be 7xy, and you leave it as that. Okay, let's do a few more of these. Okay, um, let's do another one. I've got 4xb plus 5xb, and then I've got minus 12xb. Okay, so again, I can add and subtract these because they're both x, all of them are xbs. So 4xb plus 5xb is 9xb, and I've got to subtract 12xb from it, it's minus 3xb. Okay, right, let's look at something different. Right, I can add these together because I've got 7a squared plus 9a squared. They're both a squared. They're both the same, so they can add, be added together. 7 add 9 is 16a squared. Okay, let's do another one like this. Okay, let's do 5x squared plus 11x squared. Again, they're both x squared both the same so I can add them together so 5 add 11 is 16 so the answer is 16 x squared okay let's have a look at another example let's do this time something slightly tricky Okay, I've got 5x squared y cubed plus 9x squared y cubed minus 3x squared y to the power of 5. Now I can only add the first two together because they are exactly the same. They are, they are x squared y cubed, x squared y cubed, while the other one is not x squared y cubed, it's just x squared y to the power of 5. Okay, so... Let's add them together. 5x squared y cubed plus 9x squared y cubed is 14x squared y cubed. And I actually can't subtract the other one from it because it's not exactly the same letter. So it stays as it is. It's 3x squared y to the power of 5. And remember, these cannot be subtracted because they're not exactly the same. That's the first one is an x squared y cubed. And the last one is an x squared y to the power of 5. What about if you had something like this? Okay. Let's put this at the top. Okay. Um, what about if you have something like this? 2x squared plus 5x squared plus 3x. Okay. So again, you've got 2x squared plus 5x squared plus 3x. You've got x squared 
and you've got an X and you can't add these together. This is a mistake, a common mistake that people make in the exams. An X squared is different to an X. An X squared means X times X and the X on its own is just an X. So you can't add them together. I can only add the X squares together. I can't add the X onto it because it's not exactly the same. 2X squared add 5X squared is 7X squared plus X. Sometimes people in the exams make a mistake of adding this together. Some people might write 8x, some people might write 8x squared. Actually, some people even go on to making the mistake of writing this as 8x cubed. They are all wrong. You cannot add them together because they are not the same. If you do make this mistake, the answer is incorrect and you do not get the full mark. OK, let's have a look at another example then. Um, let's do... 2p squared plus 7p minus 5p squared plus 11p. Okay, so I've got p's, I've got p squared. Let's collect the like terms. I've got 2p squared minus 5p squared. I can do that. 2 minus 5 is minus 3, so it becomes minus 3p squared. Then I've got 7p plus 11p, yeah, which becomes... 18p and again this stays as it is you cannot add this together or subtract them because um they are not exactly the same that's minus 3p squared and that's 18p they're not exactly the same therefore cannot be added so do not make that mistake please okay very very common mistake in exams um and it shouldn't be made right let's have a look at another one OK, if you have something like this, I've got x squared y plus x squared y squared plus 3x squared. A question like this in your exams would be a trick question because you actually can't add any of these together because they are not the same. This here is actually x times x times y, isn't it? Yeah, because x squared is x times x. This here is x times x times y times y because x squared is x times x and y squared is y times y. And this here is 3 times x times x. And can you see that all of these are different? You can't add them together. Therefore, this answer or this question would stay as it is because there are no like terms here to collect. Now, collecting like terms, obviously, we collect the things that are the same. Um, and we can't do that in this situation because they're all, they are all different. Let's have a look at another example then. Let's have a look at something like 3p squared minus 6p squared plus 4p minus 12p plus p cubed minus 6p cubed. Okay, so let's collect like terms. Let's collect the things that are exactly the same. We've got 3p squared minus 6p squared. They're exactly the same because they are p squared. So 3 to subtract 6 is minus 3p squared. I can add the p's together. 4p minus 12p, which is minus 8p. And then I can collect the p cubes together. I've got p cubed. Now, you might want to write down the invisible number 1 in front of the p cubed, if that helps. I'll do that at the top there. 1p cubed minus 6p cubed. That might be easier to work out. It's minus 5p cubed. It gets tricky in this situation because you might want to add and subtract these because you can see that they all have a little letter p with them. But you can't do that because they are different. This one here is minus 3 times p times p. This one here is just minus 8 times p. And this one here is minus 5 times p times p times p. And when you write them out like this, you could see that all of these are different. Therefore, you can't add them together. So your answer will remain as minus 3p squared minus 8p minus 5p cubed and that's it let's have a look at one final example 
we've got 3xy minus 4yx plus 3x squared. Okay. 3xy minus 4yx, we can subtract these together, even though by looking at them, you might say, well, they're not exactly the same, they are. It's because, for example, if we have 3 times 5, the answer is 15. But if we do 5 times 3, the answer is also 15. So it doesn't really matter which order you write the numbers in, the answer is still the same. And because this is multiplying, it doesn't matter, I can write xy or yx, they both mean the same thing. xy means x times y, and yx means y times x. They're exactly the same thing, but just written in a different order, exactly like 3 times 5 and 5 times 3. Therefore, the first two I can subtract. So you can rearrange them if you want to do so, um, if that helps. So we can do that now. 3xy minus 4xy, that would give minus 1xy plus 3x squared. And remember, we don't normally like the one written in front of um, the xy. So it's just minus xy plus 3x squared. Again, remember, I can't collect the like terms. I can't add them together because I've got x squared and then the front one is minus xy. They are different. So the answer stays as it is. Thank you for watching.